Wow, welcome to Inktober, day number 15, and this is a piece that I am calling Murderous Intent. So I actually started line arting it before I started filming it, so whoopsie daisy, but I didn't get very far. So this is a Victorian-esque looking lady inside of a picture frame, and uh, she doesn't look too happy about getting her portrait taken. She's got a parasol with um, a knife at the end. It looks like she just killed somebody, uh, which is super creepy in my opinion, and this was just something simple. I was just going to do a silhouette. But then I decided, what the heck, why not just make it monochrome, add some red and gold bits, and have fun with it. So I decided to line art the whole thing first. Um, I was going to go with my whole messy thing, and I still kind of do, but I'm learning that I don't like it as much when um, I'm being messy with it, just because, I don't know, it's outside my comfort zone. And I don't know, let me know how you guys are liking me being messy with it. Maybe it's just me not being used to something. I, that's what I hope, because it is a lot of fun to be messy. I just don't know if I like it or not. Don't know if it, I like it enough to keep it in my current style, if that makes any sense. So in the background, I'm just doing some big old ink splotches, just because I think it's cool and it's fun to see how it dries with the back runs and uh, stuff like that. And then I do go over some bits just to make them darker, uh, you know, because they lightened up a lot because I added a lot of water. Um, that's the one thing with this <laughs> ink that it's not that I don't like it, but it looks a lot darker than what it is when you have water on it and then <laughs> it dries really light. So it's something you have to be careful of. And then with her skirt and stuff, I was just really kind of sketchy with it, but I really liked that look, if that makes any sense. Um, and then, like I said, I'm just doing the monochromatic look. So I still haven't put up my Inktober pieces for the rest of the days, but I plan on doing that soon. I'm really sorry. Uh, if you're interested in getting an Inktober art book, though, and you want to pre-order, I will leave a link on the screen. If you pre-order, you get a full set of my Killer Boyfriend's buttons, and I'm not making them buttons anyway else. And you'll get a print um, of one of the pieces that are in the book which I think is pretty cool. And of course, you'll get the book itself, and it should have around 20 to 24 pages worth of uh, Inktober-y goodness. Plus, if I get a certain amount of pre-orders, I'm going to be adding my sketch and process pages, so yay for that. Uh, I really like the gold in this piece. I think it's really pretty, and the red just adds a really nice pop to it, so I'm really happy I added that. Uh, if you aren't a supporter over on Patreon and you want to join my coloring contest or anything else that I offer over there, you certainly can do so. Rewards start as little as a dollar and it helps support the channel and it makes me really happy. So if you want to consider doing that, I would be super grateful. Here's a look at the final piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, there's another video today, so please go check that out as well. If you aren't a part of our squid pod and you want to be, click the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to keep notified on when I upload new videos. And until tomorrow, guys, toodaloo!